Hi everyone, this is Invisible Shadow here. So in this video we are going to bypass BDMI. We are going to bypass ambulatory detection in BDMI. You know BDMI have different limbs and different emulators. Uh, the like game loop but virtual emulator. So uh, first of all you need to install a Smart Gaga and Smart Gaga 4.4. I already have installed uh, you, you have to run it and uh, install uh, your game BGMI in it. Just install it, uh, you do not need to run it. So we will wait. So here uh, I already have it installed uh, in it uh, the BGMI. So we will extract the libs. This is the lib extractor for BDMI and uh, we will uh, we need to extract all the fungus dot so just double click on it and uh, it will extract the lip for you I already have extracted but uh, it will extract for you no issues uh, it is extracting lip U info and uh, lip fungus it will take a little bit of time so uh, when we got our lips you can close the emulator and uh, just open IDE. Uh, we need to load this lib in IDE and then this one this one lib angus dot so this one lib angus dot so open it and I have already opened it with IDE so I am not listing as you know how to load it in IDA, uh, you watched my previous videos and uh, you know how to load uh, an LAP ID. So here we are now, we will find its emulator bypass. So, method is the same, just like uh, my previous videos, you have to search uh, emulator. So, this is emulator name, press Ctrl X here. Ctrl X, you will uh, get this window. Click on this middle one and press enter and uh, it will show you this thing and uh, just press this offset emulator name and press F5. Press F5 here. It will decompile the code for you and uh, here you can see these two functions are patching uh, are detecting emulators. Uh, here it is showing emulator name and the V16. 16 is your chair and uh, here it is actually patching if v6 is equal to 1 then the emulator is detected if it is 0 no emulator so v6 uh, is equal to 1 here calculations are made to check that emulator is, uh, is your device in emulator or we need to patch this one or this one or this one or this one any one from these things we uh, need uh, just we need just uh, to patch uh, the whole function means we need to patch this whole function and uh, so emulator detection we can avoid I double click on this offset and go to find zero multiplied by a double click on this and find zero multiplied by a well, uh, that's uh, case 10 actually. This one. So, here is our offset uh, for emulator bypass. You can copy it from here. You can copy it. So, uh, copy uh, this offset. Control C and Control uh, D. So, this is our offset for emulator bypass. But uh, you can use this offset too 34692. 34692. 34692. You can use one of these offsets to bypass emulator detection, but it may give you a But BGMI security and anti-cheat is not too much strong. So if you use this offset, this is the second one, you may not get any ban, any woman or damage or anything. 
So let uh, I will tell you one more method to bypass simulator detection. So go back uh, here on this window. So here you can see this one is hit V seventeen. V seventeen is used here and. Uh, you can uh, you can actually patch uh, these functions for emulator bypass detection too. So how would you patch these functions? This is a new method I haven't told it in my old videos. So you can if you patch it from here, if you patch this from here, it will also bypass emulator detection for you. Or if you patch it from here. It will bypass for you. So we will patch it from here. It's just uh, working for PGMI and uh, PUBG KR and other uh, variants uh, except global. So you can patch this offset 351 D6 or you can patch this 351 CC or you can patch this 351 D6 or three offsets, all three. So here our new offsets are 351D6. Wait, I will tell you the replaces of these offsets. Uh, what were 351D6? 351D6. Okay, this one is offset. And some people say that uh, these are not offsets and I am teaching the wrong methods and I must say that first test these offsets and then come in comments and talk any bad words. If it works, then thanks me. Okay, 351D6 is our emulator bypass offset. And uh, you can use this offset, click on it and see this is our address. You will click on this, it will be address. So this is our address, 351CC. 351cc okay these two offsets are enough for emulator bypass detection so now we need to find the replace of these offsets what uh, should be the replace of these offsets so copy it and uh, come to idea view and press g control v like paste that offset and press ok in this offset we are going to patch for emulator detection so when you single click on it and go to hex window you can see it's four bytes four bytes were already selected it's four bytes so we can patch it as four zero this is a simple method to patch any offset but it's not too much safe but a little bit safe Mine means you can use another uh, patching of these two but uh, this is the simplest one it returns zero and uh, you by, can bypass and neutral detection so we will see this offset now but uh, would be it's replaced press g here and uh, paste it here and click ok and this one is our offset and uh, 351 cc yes the same offset and go to hex window you can see this is 2 bytes, 2 bytes are selected, 2D and 2 zero. So you have to replace it with double zero, like this. So this is the offset method I have already teach you in my previous videos how to use it in project, our C sharp bypass project. You just need to paste your offset and change its replace value. The same if we can find the their replacement. Uh, press G and go to this offset and hex window is it is two zero. Okay, when you get uh, F0 in the first byte and the whole uh, offset is two byte. So you can also patch the same offset with this value 0, 0, 20, 70 and 47. If the first one is F0 and the value is 2 bytes, you can use 
this replace it will not crash your game and uh, you can also use this replace 0 0 0 0 0 3 and uh, 2 uh, I think I don't know whatever it is and next you uh, have seen in this replace value every day okay so now we will need to replace, find replace of this offset this one is our offset and uh, go to hex window so it is 4 bytes so you need you can patch it uh, by 4 0 if you patch this offset with this value your game may be crash so it is good that uh, you must patch this offset by this value so these are for BGMI and uh, you can use it in the same project but the emulator bypass method will be like LD player view and watch my video I already have posted the video on YouTube that uh, how to bypass in LD player memo player and all the uh, virtual emulators the same method will apply for BGMI on game loop you will need to open the game uh, or game loop open BDMI manually when the game starts and uh, it uh, comes to logo then you have to click on bypass and uh, in this uh, bypassing BDMI you need to use the AOB replace method AOB replace method that I uh, teach you in the video where I teach you that uh, how to bypass it and player memo dots and all virtual emulators. I hope so you can understand my English is uh, very weak, but uh, it's okay. I hope so you are understanding what am I saying. If you're not understanding, go and watch the video on my channel uh, regarding the emulator bypass detection on LD player knocks memo and all virtual emulators. The, that method will apply for BGMI too. So our video is uh, finished, so goodbye and see you in next.